another big change is uh, no longer identifying as a Christian band. And uh, the quote was uh, that Christianity ruined the band and that one of the best things we ever did was when we agreed to not be a Christian band anymore. Could you elaborate on that a little bit? I mean, the thing with the thing with having a okay, so a band is a bunch of personalities. It's like being married. If anyone's been in a relationship oh, God, or yes. <laughs> trying to keep your girlfriend happy or your wife or your boyfriend or whoever, is a lot of work. Add a bunch of other people into that, all different personalities. That's a lot of work. But then put a guideline of a rule over top of it saying, now we all have to believe the same thing. Yeah. That's like saying, let's say if you're in my band and I'm like, I'm going, uh, I'm going vegan and so is he. And if you yeah. don't, you're out of the band and you're kind of like, that's not really how humanity works. Putting a religion on a band is like, Dude, we're all six individuals. That's really unfair. What if someone decides to go down a different path? What if someone has questions? What if someone maybe just doesn't feel right with, with stuff anymore? And that, that pressure was, was really hard because if we questioned that within the band, there was kind of this like facade and smoke and mirror effect going of like, I know you're not telling me how you really feel because you don't want to like cross that boundary of sounding un, like you're not a Christian anymore and same with this guy no one's talking anymore and there's all this inner turmoil because we couldn't talk about shit yeah. and I just think it's really uh, unhumane and I don't think religion it should be in music I don't, I don't really care what Maynard believes in I think his music's great I want to know if the, the Christian community who uh, supported you guys for so many years if they're still supporting you with this some record, of them if you're feeling that support. a lot of them aren't some mm -hmm. of them are they're pissed off if you say fuck in a song Oh, for those sure. for those people, it's like a huge, it's a huge. But they deal. didn't support us before either, anyway. Yeah, we were ne we never wrote songs about. That's another thing too to to elaborate more on the Christianity thing. Like, we never wrote songs about God. We always yeah, wrote yeah, about. Sure. I mean, go read Under Rose lyrics except, except for a song called "Some Seek Forgiveness, Others Escape on Chasing Safety," which, which was we written, didn't write. Yeah, written by Aaron from Copeland. Okay. Aaron Marsh, who's singing on that song, that you know we didn't write it. So, you know. Uh, it was never nothing really changed we just became more honest and honest with each other it's just and we haven't been a christian band since 2009 2008 or 9 something yeah like, that. like yeah. we made that announcement people just weren't paying attention you know it's just oh, I got you. it's just now it's a bigger deal now because we're back and i said fuck on a song in the in the christian it's community, out in the open that's another reason why we weren't really like wanted to identify with it like those were some of the m meanest most alienating people I'd ever worked with, especially in the music industry. And I know that's like a f***ed up thing to say on camera. And people probably will replay it and cut parts out of it and make me sound worse than I am. But You'll for say, me... I hate Christians. Yeah. That's what, that's what it'll, yeah, it'll get edited it'll as get that. Edited as that I hate Christians. Um, <laughs> that's, that's what it'll be. Which I don't. I'm, I don't hate any religion. I think everyone should be entitled to do whatever the, the f*** they want to do. But for us, there was a lot of weird pressure and weird stuff behind the scenes and people saying things that they are but they aren't and vice versa and they like made a a painting out of me you know since 2006 on like when it came out that I had problems with drugs there was never any help it was just like let's crucify that guy because look how terrible of an example of a Christian he is not one person offered to help me it was just like Fuck that guy let's get him out of here and it was like all of press everywhere and you know that was like those people haven't been supporting us since they found out any sort of drug was involved with our band at all. So, in my opinion. And then there are the ones that are just angry. But, and then there's some people that still support us no matter what. You've been sober for over a year now, right? So, it's yeah, been... Yeah, well, so I, I still drink and, and okay. like, I'm off drugs. Yeah. yeah, great. So, have you been able to really uh, enjoy being in a band, playing for people, the whole process more than you were before? Yeah, because I'm not hungover all the time. It's great. That's, all, that's always <laughs> very, very good. We always like to celebrate uh, people' sobriety when they come out of that dark Yeah, place. I was, you know, it was like a part of my life, very much so, uh, my whole touring life, but... One, I've always taken what I've done very seriously, and I, I never really did a lot of drugs before I played. It was always like after the show, and I would, you know, do drugs all night long and stay up by myself and be hungover till sound check and restart. But like playing, I've always had a clear head playing. It's like kind of always been my thing. Uh, somehow, as a very functional drug addict, <laughs> I was pretty good at it. But it's great to not have to. Uh, feel the way that I did anymore like it's been like a year and a couple months for me maybe a little bit longer and uh, I don't think I'd change that for the world you know 
Well done, man. Keep that going. So what's next for you guys? What do you guys really want to accomplish? Just, now, again, that yeah, you're, lots of, quote, back. Lots of touring. Lots and lots of touring. Yeah, I mean, that's the plan right now. You know, we never thought we'd make a record. We never thought um, we'd make a record that we were so happy with, you know? So I think for us now, it's like, let's get it out and in front of people. So, yeah. Yeah, I think, and also now we're like, we're working as hard, if not harder, than we did when we were on our first record and we were all 18 years old. Yeah. Which is something I admire about our band and the guys and our manager and label and everything is that we're not just like, oh, we're under oath, we can do what we want. Like, we're not going to do this today. We don't feel like it. Like, let's just put, make music and play shows. Like, our band's out here. Like, we want to grow. You know, we want, and as long as we're doing what makes us happy and writing songs that we love, and we'll do, you know, We'll get out there and work for it because we want people to hear it. We we feel really strongly about this record that it's we feel like it's our most honest record we've ever written, and it's the first record we worked on it together. And this is the longest we've ever worked on a record. Like we spent like a year and a half on this thing, yeah. you know. Like we're so proud of it. We want everyone to hear it. So what's next is just as much touring and whatever we can do to get people to to listen to it. You know. Cool. 